All right, today I'm going to show you how to uh, install and operate a uh, Hyasung Minibank NH1500. Uh, usually they are these uh, gold, uh, goldish colored ATM machines. So you, the ATM comes with two keys. You have the square one and the round one. The square one will open up the, uh, the fascia, like the top part and the front panel. So I'm going to show you how to install the paper. That's the first thing. So you put the ATM this way. You'll see on this side you have your power rocker switches. Off, on. Or if you need to power cycle the ATM or just to shut it off. And on this side you're going to have the paper. It's already installed so I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to install it. You see when the ATM starts, you have a test print. So right here you have a, a, a little um, button, spring spring activated button. It's a flapper, so if I flip it the opposite direction, it's going to release the uh, the, hold, the paper holder. So I can remove the paper or feed it through. In this case I'll show you how to feed it through. So you have to go behind um, this guide right here and feed it feed it correctly in the tray and as soon as you see it come out un from underneath you'll push the um, the roller back into place just like this now the same the same key square one we can open the front panel just like this and then you'll have a lock in this case one two three four five six and you turn clockwise to disengage the lock mechanism and then you can turn the handle once the handle is turned the door will open all right so now in the in here you have uh, DPL unit which is used to connect the ATM to the network we always ship them out where it's it's very easy to know how to plug it you'll see the uh, red label on the cable associates with the red painted uh, receptacle like this so what it does is the ATM plugs into here and your ADSL internet modem plugs with the, this cat5 cable and it just converts the uh, dial up ATM to uh, an IP now <clears throat> this is your um, cash dispenser so if you want to pull the tray for whatever reason let's say you have a bill jam you can't get your fingers uh, you know in, in there to access the bill jam so that if you look under here there's a little screw you can screw it then that's gonna free this tray now, if you were to have a bill jam, it's going to be here or in the back. But while this tray is pulled out, you have more access. It's very important to make sure you don't accidentally um, slide the belts off off the pulleys, off the the guides. You know, you have to be very, very careful. Make sure nothing is uh, you know changed here. So once you're done with that, put it back into place. We'll screw it back into place now this is your cassette gently pull it this is very fragile all right so that's where the other round key comes into place we'll use the round key and uh, so you, you, you try to get nice bills they don't have to be all in the same order it doesn't really matter as long as you have you don't have you know bills that are full of scotch tapes and staples and things like that so so you pull this until it clicks it gives you more um, maneuvering abilities and click it just like that close the lid lock it back up and you put it put back the cassette in the uh, cash dispenser, make sure you 
push it all the way in. It has to click. If you don't, and somebody tries to uh, withdraw money, what's going to happen is the dispenser is not going to be able to pick the bills. And it's just going to create a bunch of rejects and uh, misfeed. So make sure it's all the way in. Here's your reject bin. If there's any rejects, it's going to be there. And once that's done, what we're going to do is close the door. So if by any chance this turned while you, you, you were adding the money, you're going to try to close the door, it's not going to work. It's important that you turn the handle to free the locking pins. Now you can close the door, turn the handle, and turn this back. Now it's fully locked. All right, so now that the money has been added, we need to add it to the uh, administrative menu. To access the administrative menu, there's a key sequence we have to do in order to be prompted for a password to log in. So, and that key sequence is enter, clear, can you have to hold enter, clear, cancel all at once, release it, and then one, two, three. And all this has to be done within one and a half seconds. So let's... See, you hold them all, release, one, two, three. There you go. Now I'm prompted for the password. Enter the password. Now you're going to see operator menu. What you want to do is go to settlement. Okay, it says current number of bills 50. Let's say that we added $2,000. Well, you'd want to go to add cassette. And $2,000 is the equivalent to 100 bills. 100 bills. Press enter. See? Current number of bills, 150. Now, this model of ATM is not going to print you a receipt automatically. But if you need a receipt, cancel, you cancel once to bring you back to the operator function, main menu. Go to journal. Go to view journal. And here you're going to be uh, able to access the last 10,000 transactions, so uh, journal entries. So here you see the last thing we did was add cash to cassette. There was 50. We added 100. Pr enter will print. So you can give that to your bookkeeper. Now, let's say uh, we're back to the uh, main screen. Let's say you did a mistake. You wanted to add... 50 instead of 100 so you go back to settlement if you press on cassette total what that does it clears everything out to zero you'll see current number of bills zero so now you can correct your mistake and go from there so that's it um good luck with the installation let me know if you require any more help